In late September of 2005, in the British-controlled city of Basra, two British Special Forces SAS commandos attacked a group of police at a checkpoint, killing one and injuring another. When they were finally subdued and brought into custody, their car was filled with plastic explosives, automatic weapons, rocket-propelled grenades, and other bomb-making materials. Why would members of Britain's most elite fighting force, the Special Air Services, be dressed up like Arabs out shooting police with a car full of plastic explosives in a city that had been racked by sectarian violence? The governor of Basra in Iraq ordered that the British soldiers be held for trial for the murder they'd committed. Within hours of their incarceration, dozens of British tanks and hundreds of soldiers assaulted the main police station in Basra killing jail guards and police in the process to free the two commandos. Over 150 prisoners escaped, and the controlled mainstream media reported on the incident as if it was no big deal.